What is going on guys? It's Z17 and I'm back with another no money spent episode and in this episode I will be going over the half token market update not a full one though they didn't drop any new reward players although they did drop some nice packs now as you can see this is what like the cards I bought sold for he came 100k exactly the big old only 51k that is not the greatest I've got a few other cards here still got glitch Porzingis what's price of Jalen Rose actually is he a buyout still I'm not sure if he is yes he is but just I'm going to put him up right now and see if I can get him sold because I'm going to be trying to get that goat cream or like a goat shack to try out or wilt because well that's Derek Rose I just want to have some fun with my team towards the end of the game but here we are Jalen Rose on 99k that is not bad now, do I put a contract on him? I don't think I will. So, let's put him up for about 98.5k. Almost. Well, not quite. Although, hopefully, he should sell for that price. And that's a decent investment there. Not one we're making a loss on, anyway. <coughs> Sorry about needing to clear my throat a ton. Just, I don't know what it is. But, I've got a few cards in here. Still got Porzingis. As I said, he's still 100k. That is crazy. Now, what's price of these cards? Marion, about 40k. Wow, so there's a ton of cards that are going for a decent value. Lonzo's a bit more expensive, probably. Although, as I said, they dropped new token reward packs and they're best of 2K20 and a ton more. So there's these ones for Lamar Odom, Kawhi and Lamelo. I don't think these are worth it at all. These are best ones though. James Wiseman, Rashad Lewis, and Takeover Giannis. So definitely, if you like are desperate and really want to open one of those packs, open that one. This one's not bad, but not the greatest. T-Mac, Shaq, and Paul George. And then there's KD, LeBron, and Ben Simmons. Not great. This is awful. 400 tokens. For a pink diamond that goes to about 20k, I'd say. So, what is the price of James Wiseman? I may pick him up. All dip ins. Let's see. Wiseman's 305k. What is the price for Giannis? Because he is the best small forward and power forward in the game, probably. 720 that is not bad either although what's price of Rashad Lewis because I can probably afford him now yes I can I'm going to pick one up let's put a bit on this one and see how it goes okay I don't have enough MT there let's see if I can actually get one of these I don't know the proper price of this Richard Lewis, although it will be nice to get him for about 850 or less probably. This one here, 880, I guess it's a lot cheaper than what it used to be. May as well. Jalen Rose still hasn't sold, that's a bit of shame. What's Jimmy Butler's price? His price is, oh, he's back down to a buyout. I'm going to pick one of these cards up here. 81k, I mean, that one doesn't have contract. 
doesn't matter too much, although I'm going to go with this one here. What's Chris Webber's price? He was about 500k or 800k or something crazy earlier. Now, is he a buyout? I would be surprised if he is. It would be nice to see him at a buyout. Not quite. Has he gone up in price? Possibly, I'm not sure. 120k, that's not too bad. This Chris Webber here, he's got a diamond contract, and I mean, you're getting best card in the game anyway, so, like, if you do lock him in. So what's the point of really holding that? Chris Webber, I got outbid there, that's unlucky. These 2k servers are a bit messed up. Although, we are winning that bid for Richard Lewis. Shaq here. Let's see. Opal Shaq. So, Goat Shaq's only... Wow, that's cheap. I'm considering picking him up. I'm not going to do it just yet, I don't think. Although, that is a crazy cheap price. This shack is not the best, but not like a bad one either. Let's see if we can get one for about maybe 135, maybe about that. I'm going to actually put one for 140 because that's not the worst bit in the world. I will probably be outbid there. That will be a bit of shame. Although, let's see, what are the prices of these other cards? Sean Bradley's cheap still. Let's see, because I'm going to try get some of those Showtime Diamonds for about 5k or less. That's a good Sean Bradley. That's good Kyrie as well. May as well take them. Now, any pink diamonds for about 10, 15k. So there's this Penny Hardway here. May as well pick him up. Let's see. Anyone else for about 15, 20k at most probably. Danny Manning. He's an incredible card. About 15k. I'm going to pick that one up. Or this one here actually. Probably Bessalu one. We got outbid on Richard Lewis. That is unlucky. Now, I do want to get this Richard Lewis as quick as possible. I don't want to use my tokens, though. So, let's see if there's, like, another Richard Lewis I can find. Or if I just have to, like, wait to buy Kareem. I may as well check the Goat Shacks price. I really do want to try this card out. Wilt Chamberlain's not too bad, although there's still 50 minutes left on that. Shaq here, 64 Hall of Fames. Not the greatest release, but one of the best cards in the game. So this Shaq here we got outbid on. Unlucky there. Do I have enough actually for Opal Shack, well, Goat Shack, 1.2 million. I don't think that's the smartest idea. 155k, I'm going to do it. Let's see how this goes. Rashad Lewis here, 780, 740. Wow, that's cheap. And maybe I'm going to win this one. This is confusing. Not even going to lie. So I'm winning this for 860. Do not be surprised if I get outbid. I'm not even going to check the active bids for until now, actually. Yes, we did get outbid. Not too much of a surprise. Not outbid on that um, shack yet. Not too bad. Let's see. This Richard Lewis here should be able to be sold for about 860 i'm not paying 900 at all for that and
and I just did. What am I doing? Hopefully no one puts a bit up too much. That was not a smart thing to do. I basically said I wouldn't pay that much and then I put a bid for that much. Looks like I won it for 842. That's a huge dub. Now I've only got two or three cards left, maybe. Actually, five. Chris Webber, 150, although I'm going to try pick one up. Let's see. Hopefully this stops lagging for a little bit while I'm actually in the auctions. Nate Robinson's expensive. I'm going to wait for his price to go down. Muggsy is... No way, Muggsy Bogues is like 15, 20k. Let's see, can I get this Chris Webber for 123 or 135? What's Muggsy's cheapest price? Because you already know I'm not paying 15k for Muggsy. Okay, looks like he is that price. I may have to just do it. We'll see. Um, I mean, 14k for someone five foot three. 12.7. Not sure about that. Weber, I do need to get to him quickly. Let's see. Is there any? Other Chris Webbers for maybe like a. I'm not paying 160 at all for Chris Webber. He's not worth that. Not a bad card at all, though. I mean, I may as well use him if I've got him. But 143. That's not too bad. I would not complain at all if I got him for that price. Jalen Rose still hasn't sold. That's a bit of shame, although, I mean, you can't get everything. Dante DiVincenzo. I'm going to put him and a few others up for a buyout. Let's see. Who else? Buzzer beaters. Quentin Richardson. If he's a bit more expensive, that would be nice. 8, 9k. That's not bad. Not great or so. Let's see, Hakeem Warwick is about 4k, that's nothing. Jamario Moon 7k, I think. Looks like he's gone up a bit to 9k. May as well put him up for a buyout then. I'm going to wait for Hakeem Warwick because I already know Hakeem Warwick is like probably going up more than price he's going for right now 8.6 for Jamario Moon hopefully someone can buy that one Chris Webber I am not paying any more than that for Chris Webber okay let's see 224 I'm going to actually wait for the last second here well not the last second but close and I got outbid somehow with two seconds left. Wow, okay. Let's see, can I? Looks like I'll need to go back to menu. That's a bit of shame. These menus are really laggy, by the way. Sorry if this has been a long, long episode. It's basically just because I'm trying to get Goat Kareem. Let's pay 158k. I'm not getting out bid on that. Well, hopefully not. Looks like someone's going to go crazy and maybe outbid me here. Looks like we may have won that bid. What's Pink Diamond LeBron's price? Because I'm not paying 30k for Pink Diamond LeBron. Showtime, here we go. 30k still. And Chris Webber. Welcome to the squad, Chris Webber. Now I will grind some more my team. 
it's just I've been grinding part quite a bit, 31k VC. As you can see, I'm actually going to work on my glass lock, which is a great build. Hot Rod Williams, what's his price actually? If I can get him for about 10k, I mean, it may not be the greatest value, but it's better than like some other cards. I mean, there are worse cards out there. 14k. Remember, this purchase is going to actually be like 1 million MT. I can't get back, although I'm doing it for content. My team's going crazy right now. I'm going to actually wait for these cards probably. Mugsy, not worth that much. Showtime LeBron is actually, I still think he's about 30k. What's Nate's price? I mean, I may as well pay 25k for him if it means I'm getting still the best card in the game. Let's see, 36. Looks like he's gone down a bit more. I'm going to wait to tomorrow morning actually. And I think I'll see what it's like tomorrow. I mean, maybe I should sell those cards back, like the diamonds, because obviously they're quite expensive, the ones I did get. And nine cards needed now for that goat cream. Definitely worth locking in, probably. I mean, why not with this much time left in the game? I'm, like, focused on part anyway now. LeBron, Showtime, hopefully he's even searchable. Yes, he is. So, obviously, he was still above 30k. But I just wanted to make sure he was actually searchable. I'm going to wait and see what I can get tomorrow with like the MT I have. I may need to sell Chris Stapps. Although I should have enough for Kareem now. I'm really glad they bought out those packs. But that is the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as well as follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Bye.